Chairman, I appreciate uh, the intention of your bill to make this less high stakes. Uh, I don't find in the bill where that happens. Um, the test will still be determinative uh, entirely of our A through F rating for <coughs> three through eight. Is that correct? Yeah, but think about the difference. You have to walk in one day, give it your best shot, and, that, and that's it. You're done. Think about a system that creates three touch points, shorter in duration, and I think we had testimony over 4402 that we, we, that we talked about, you know, tests that could take as little as an hour or a class period that could provide that information, and then the score, if you will, again, what getting down to, to you know, how, how are kids doing is a, for lack of, and I'm certainly not a statistician, but in uh, an average of those. And as you move along, the information you gain allows uh, instruction and, and interventions um, to be designed based upon what we're finding. And, uh, you know, I think it's important to know that this, this is, an, this is a, an important enough issue that this body passed this, not only in 2019, but also passed it again just the other day. And uh, so I, that's, you know, I, I think it's a pathway away from the high stakes. And, and I, see, I see where you're going with this. I would like to see in the language specifics about can't take longer than an hour, is an adaptive assessment, um, takes the average. I don't see those specifications in the bill, and I, I worry that we are um, respectfully <laughs> putting too much faith in TEA to get all those things exactly the way we want them because sometimes there's a, there's a mismatch between our expectations and TEA's um, interpretation or TEA's standards for what they want to see our schools do. We'll draft the amendment and watch how fast I take it. Okay, great. I appreciate that. Um, the other part to our testing that creates the pressure is that it's graded on a curve, right? And so there will always be winners and losers in the way we're currently testing our kids. And I don't see a change in that in this bill. And I'm wondering if I'm missing something or is there going to be a different way that we determine whether our, these schools and these kids have met the standards or are we still going to just be comparing everybody and determining and waiting till the test is taken then looking at the scores and figuring out okay we need to make sure this is the low end this is the high end um, as opposed to send setting a standard whereby everybody could make an A. So our, our current star test it is criterion reference, which means that it's not, it's not based on a distribution. And so it is designed in a way that everyone could master grade level if they perform that way. We set our standards back when, when STAR was first created, we set standards and then we don't, we don't reset standards unless there's a, a change in the test. So for example, in 2015, when we adopted our new math teaks, we conducted standard setting then. This year, we're doing uh, another set of standard setting, which is why star results are, are later this year compared to typical years, because it does take significantly longer time to do that. And so every year, in a typical year, we, we do not change the standards. It is based on you know, the, the studies that we had done at the very beginning of the, that really do connect the master's grade level to that 75% chance of success in a college level course meets grade level 60%. And then we have each of the grade levels leading up to that predictive of success in the, in the next grade level. Why this, uh, this year is it taking longer because the standards are changing? What makes it take longer? So for example, right now with the start administration window just ended, we're, we're bringing together a bunch of Texas teachers to, they're a big part of our standard setting in which they actually look at each of the, the test questions. They, they use their expertise to say a student who is at this level should be able to answer this question. And so the fact that they're doing those standard setting meetings right now is what's taking longer. Why wouldn't those standard settings happen before the results are in? Some of them happen before and some of them have to happen after. But 
the agency waits until it gets the results to finally determine what where those standards are set. Is that correct? So if you're talking specifically about this year, yes. This year, one of the things that teachers, Texas teachers, are looking at when they look at the overall test is how students performed on that overall test. So we provide that information to the committees that meet. In a typical year, we're not changing standards at all. And so for the past you know, 10 years, standards have not changed unless we have had a significant change to the TEKS. Okay, but so right now we're looking to see, as, when we change standards, first we look to see what are stu where are students performing? We don't say ahead of time, based on the TEKS, this is where they should be. We look to see where they've, what the results are, and then we set standards. We, for the teachers who are participating in our committees, we give them the based on TEKS, based on what we already know, here's the band that we expect students should be participating in. So we do give them some guardrails. It's not here's a test, pick it right. up or come from wherever. Then, so we do use the, this statistical you know, or equating process of knowing last year, this is what it took to meet grade level. Last year, this is what it took to master grade level based on our, our TEKS, based on all the studies that we've done. This is sort of the, the band that we should be looking at. And then we have teachers within that band talk to each other about what is what is appropriate. But ultimately they look at results to figure out they, what the Results are be. one part of many things that they're looking at. Um, so I'm unclear about whether now that we're changing the testing and we are making the TSIA test uh, apply to elementary students is the CCMR domain also going to apply to elementary students? Does that change in this bill? Uh, if you're in the accountability system, right? No, that's this doesn't. I think the changes in the assessment don't impact the ATHRF accountability system, other than the fact that that's the assessment that's now being used to calculate. Okay, so it will piece. still only be, be applied to high school students in high schools? The, the CCMR indicators? Right. Yes, this doesn't change anything. There. Okay, good. Finally, is there a fiscal note on this bill? Yes, there I haven't is. seen it. I, or, I don't think there's been one on the, the substitute that was yeah. just... Okay. Still waiting. Yeah, no, we're still waiting from LBB. But there was one on a previous version. Yeah. We'll have it for you soon. Okay. All right, thank you.